Hey guys, welcome to the 25th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use lists. Now, lists are very similar to arrays, only they have a few minor differences. So, um, all you're going to really need for this tutorial is two buttons and two text boxes. And the second text box having being multi line and having vertical scroll bar. Um, really, all this is needed for is just to help you better understand how lists work. Alright, so. Let's get started. We're just going to double click on this add button right here. And now the main difference between lists and arrays is that when you declare an array, you have to have a maximum length of or the maximum number of elements that will be in that array. And if you, if you only you if you like let's say we have a string array and so my array new string. All right. Now inside here we have to put the maximum number of elements that will be in our array. So let's say we just have, we need 12 um, elements in there. Well, let's say that um, sometimes you're only going to want to use six of those. Well, the rest of those will be null, and that and it'll just um, uh, it'll just be a waste of space. So what you can do to avoid that is create a list, and to do that, you just type list, and then inside these less than and greater than signs, you type the type of um, list that you would like. In our case it's going to be a string. But you can obviously type like byte or long or int or bool or anything in there. So now we're gonna um, name it, let's call it my list. Set it equal to a new string list. Just gonna have the parentheses after it. Alright, and as you can see in, in this list there is no need to or put the maximum number of elements that will be in our list. So let's go ahead and delete this. I don't really need it. Alright, so now when we click button 1, what are we, what we are going to do is we are going to add the text in text box 1 um, to my list. And my list is uh, pretty much an array. So um, it will just create a new element um, for this text. So to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to type my list dot add. And then we're going to type the um, string item, which is text box 1 dot text. All right, so once again, this will just simply add text box one's text to this list. All right, so now when we click this button, we're going to have it print out all the elements in the array in this text box right here. So double click on the show all button, and the first thing we're going to have it do is clear the text box. So we're going to set that equal to string dot empty. All right, now we're going to create a simple for each statement to print out all of the elements in the array. And to do that, we're just going to declare a new string inside of here. We'll call it s in my list. And if you don't know how to use the for each statement, I have um, a tutorial on that. I have all these in a playlist, so you should be able to find it pretty easily. All right, so now we're just going to do text box two dot text plus equals s plus slash r slash n, and that will just create a new line so that um, each element will be on a different line. Alright, so now when we debug here, if we want to add elements to the array, all we have to do is type in whatever we want. So let's say, we'll just do animals. We'll do cat, add it, dog, and fish, add it. Alright, so now when we click the show all button, it should do cat, dog, fish, I think that's the order did it, I don't really remember. Yeah, cat, dog, fish. All right, so then if we wanted to add more, all we do is type in another one, like bear. Add that, show all, print out bear. All right, so now one more thing in order to help you better understand this is uh, I'm just going to have it, we're going to do a little break thing right here. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to go step by step, line through line, um, the code so you can understand how it works better. So I don't know, let's do dog, add it, cat, add it, fish, add it. So now when you click show all, this will just empty the text box two of its text, but more importantly what we're going to look at is that um, list. So we just click on this, go to my list, and as you can see it lists all of the elements in that array. And as you can see, there is no extra elements that are null. 
So this is very good if you're trying to um, code cleanly, which I highly suggest you do. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, just um, talk to me on AIM. My AIM is ITZAdam5, and I'll have a little thing up here with it in it. So see you guys.